My name is Laura Riggs, and I am an associate professor of equine surgery here at LSU. I've been here about 13 years. In the last 10 years, have been able to increase the number of horses that can be saved uh, when a catastrophic uh, fracture occurs. One of the ways that we are trying to improve survival rates is looking at a, a technique called an arthrodesis. So an arthrodesis is the fusion of two bones. For example, this is a horse's ankle or fetlock, and there is a plate here that has multiple screws. Uh, and one of the things that we're looking at is how we can best support that fracture so that it repairs as early as possible and as strong as possible by using something uh, like this cable. So one of our experiments is to look and see how much stronger uh, different cables make this construct. And then that allows the horse to better uh, walk and recover more quickly. So a typical horse weighs about a thousand pounds. And that is really often the limit of what we're able to uh, use as an implant. The goal is to determine how much stress or how much force those implants can take uh, before they break. One of the other ways that equine surgery is making advances is with uh, surgeries that are performed on the standing animal. So uh, the horses don't have to go under general anesthesia in order to have some of these fractures repaired. Uh, that allows the horse to avoid the risk of anesthesia uh, as well as the risk of the recovery process. So if we could come up with techniques that allow us to repair fractures in the standing horse, we've taken away some of those risk factors. Uh, we are finding new ways to do them standing and having greater success.